one of my favorite things to do is probably just reading, uh, just relaxing, uh, and then another one would be working out. So it's kind of an interesting mix of things. I am Garrick Payton, I'm majoring in biology, and I'm from Pennsylvania. My mission trip experience started when I was 12 or 13. A youth group uh, went to Haiti, and I wasn't super excited to go, but everybody was going, so I kind of just went along, didn't think it'd be too bad. But when I got down there, I just kind of fell in love with it. So after my first time down, it was something that I just loved and had to keep going. I grew up in a Christian home, and I've just went to church my whole life. I've never known life without church. And for me, it was something that I just kind of did and didn't really care about until I got to Haiti and saw how joyful and just how the Haitians had nothing and were just living their lives for Christ and just showing the love of Christ to everyone. I've really just felt passionate about Haiti because realistically it was one of the biggest things that kind of led to me living out my salvation and just my relationship with Christ. I ended up choosing the biology major partially because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, but I did know I liked enjoyed science and I enjoyed people. As I've spent my time here, my major has really helped me kind of see all these different things, and that's one of the great things about biology is you can do whatever you want down the road with it. Longer term goals, I would like to see Haiti become more self-sufficient, just trying to create a better lifestyle for them. This whole idea of a better long-term missions, it's something I'd never really thought of until I got here, and just through hearing different speakers and different professors in class talking about trying to create long-term change rather than just short-term change is something that has really shaped the way I've thought and has driven me to think, how can I help the people in Haiti in a longer term sense?